Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And kung dati ka na na nandito, thank you so much sa pagpunta. Anyways, um, today we're gonna be discussing kung magkano talaga ang sinasoldo ko dito as a nurse here in England at saka kung magkano ang gasos namin dito sa bahay. So without further ado, let's get this video started. I hope you find it um, informative guys and this has got nothing to do with bragging o pagmamayabang kasi I just wanna inspire nurses out there in the Philippines kung sakaling gusto nilang pumunta dito sa England and um, to just to get a rough idea kung magkano talaga sinasweldo ng nurse dito sa England. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So I've got this payslip with me guys and dito yung um, kinita ko for the month of May. It's backtracking also dun sa mga extra time na ginawa ko last um, April. Um, dito kasi iba ang bayad per hour ang bayad dito. Um, I work 37 and a half hours in a week. At uh, saka um, pag may ginawa ka na weekends or nights or bank holidays, uh, may dagdag din yun sa sweldo. So averaging in between when you're starting as a nurse at sa band 5, it's in between 22,128 per annum till um, 28,746. So, tumataas siya guys every year na nandito ka. And then, since I've been here since 2001 guys, so it's been a while. So, I'm on the top um, pay scale of my um, band. So, I'm earning 28,746 per annum. Kayo nang bahala mag-convert ha kasi paiba-iba yung ano, um, what you call this, paiba-iba yung exchange rate um, from pounds to pesos. So, um, nakalagay dito sa payslip ko, it's my um, assignment number, my name, <clears throat> which hospital I'm working at, and then which um, ward I'm working at. Hindi ko na rin i-disclose kasi um, for me, ayokong ma makosyon ako ng hospital. So, i-discuss ko na lang talaga kung magkano yung sinado ko this May. So, this May, I've, I've got like yung basic pay ko. I've done 162.95 hours. So, my hourly rate, guys, is 14 pounds and 7,012 pence. At tapos, I've done like bank holiday enhancement. May enhancement siya din. I've done 11 and a half hours. I've done night enhancement of 92, 94 hours, Saturday enhancement of 18 hours, and Sunday enhancement of 27 and a half hours. So, um, all together, um, um, pay code that I got is 3,338.21 pence. Pero, the deduction is like, um, may um, tax tax is roughly like 20% um, so I got deducted 510 and 20 pence may insurance then there's 364 and 74 pence tapos um, there is yung pension ko um, I've started it only probably like 4 years 5 years ago nung pinangarap ko si Maya I, I wish I've started early kasi when you retire at um, 65 you get a lump sum and then I think they pay you like every month for it Tapos, car park is 30 pounds. So, all together, it's, um, with all the deductions, um, I take home 2,122 pounds, guys. So, here in England, guys, um, dapat masipag ka lang talaga. And, ayun, kasi kahit na malaki yung sweldo, I'll be discussing it in a minute, kahit malaki yung sweldo, malaki rin ang gasos ko sa bahay. So, eto sa book ko na to, I've just um, added, like, I've just put all yung spending namin sa bahay. And then, ayun, para malaman nyo na malaki talagang sweldo, pero malaki rin ang cost of living. So, ang gasos namin sa bahay is, um, sa mortgage, hati kami ni Habi. So, I paid 325 pounds. Lahat ng bills dito sa bahay, ako rin ang sagot, kasi Kasi we've got an apartment and yung sa taas ng gym ng asawa ko and he pays for that also. So lahat ng bill sa bahay ako ang may sagot. Tsaka lahat ng gasos kay ate ako rin may sagot. Basta anyway, didiscuss ko na sa inyo lahat. So council tax is 173. That's um, 
yung pagkolekta ng basura, police maintenance, and um, bombero, sa ba bombero kung sakali magkasunog and stuff. TV license, yes guys, we pay for a TV every month. That's costing 12 pounds. Um, Virgin Media, that's for our internet connection. Yung parang cable sa Pilipinas, that's 53 pounds. My monthly cell phone is 50 quid. Yung sa... Um, nakakontra kasi ako guys, so 50 pounds yon Ang tubig namin is 27 pounds. Ang gas namin is 70 pounds. Ang electric bill namin is 70 pounds. Ang, ang bus pass ni Ate Kayleen sa school is uh, 30 pounds a month. Ang kickboxing niya is 30 pounds a month. Ang car insurance ko is 50 pounds. Ang car maintenance ko every month is around 100 pounds. Siyempre, ang gas, ang kotse, hindi naman siya tumatakbo ng tubig lang. So, ang gas ko every month is 130. Food bills namin, hati kami ni husband, tig, tig 300 pounds kami every month. I also have like unison um, membership kung sakaling magkaabira sa trabaho or magka problema. I pay 18 pounds for that. Um, my nursing license. Yes, guys, we pay 120 pounds in a year. So, it's roughly about 10 pounds a month sa nursing license ko. Um, personal insurance ko is 35 pounds. Uh, my home insurance is 35 pounds also. Tapos, every month, nagpapadala ako sa nani ko ng 15,000 pesos. So, Roughly, tumaas, bumaba ang palitan, nagpapadala ako sa nanay ko. So, 214 yung rough estimate ko siya every month. Um, with today's exchange rate, I think it's 70 pounds. One pound is to 70 pesos pala. And then I give, every month, I give um, a percentage of my salary to church. Hindi ko na rin i-mention yun kasi lahat ng itinutulong ko sa church, it's, um, alam na ng Diyos yun. Tsaka ayoko na rin i-reveal sa inyo. So anyway, in total, um, ang total niya is 1,782 pounds. Pag tinotal mo siya. So, yung take home ko na 2,122 minus 1,782. So, that, that goes to just like 340 pounds ang natitira ko na lang every month. So, sa napupunta yung 340 pounds, tinatabi namin yun ni husband o kaya some part of it, binabayad namin sa credit card. Kasi at the moment, ang credit card ko, uh, bills ko guys, there it's about roughly 4,000 pounds. Kasi pumunta kami sa Paris ng birthday ko. And then nagbook kami ng ticket for the Philippines. Diba, uuwi kami ng Pilipinas ngayon July. So, yun. Ganong kataas ang credit card bills ko, guys. So, it's 4,000 pounds. So, roughly every month, siguro naglalagay ako ng 100, 150. Depende sa... Ayun. Depende sa... <laughs> sa natitira. So, ganon talaga, ba? Kala siguro ng iba. Yayamanin ako. I wish. <laughs> so, guys. Yun lang. Na-reveal ko lang kung magkano ang sweldo ng nurse dito sa... Inglaterra. Tsaka kung roughly magkano yung gastos namin dito sa bahay. So, ano pa bang isha-share ko sa inyo? Ayan, uh, when I first started dito, I, um, 2001, I was a nurse, I was a healthcare pala, healthcare assistant pa ako. That's a band too. So, roughly ang sweldo ko nun, it's about 600 pounds isang buwan. Um, medyo maliit, pero once nakuha mo yung license mo, iba na kasi yung curriculum ngayon, I think you have to take OSCE first bago ka makakuha ng um, ng license kasi kami that time we've got like a adaptation booklet na ganyan kanipis i think it's letter A to letter H pag na complete mo yung competency with the evidence kanya nakakapal yung yung ano mo yung evidence yung 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 file profile tapos you have to um, like discuss that with a mentor and then they submit that to NMC that's what we call nursing and midwifery council and then they approve of that. Doon ka, doon ka na makukuha ng license. But I think it's changed. The curriculum has changed now. May OSCE na, may IL. So, marami talagang requirements. So, guys, if ever na, ayan, ad aspiring kayong pumunta dito sa England, 
um, tuloy nyo lang kasi okay naman siya at saka maganda naman ang kita kaya lang syempre ang my advice ko talaga sa inyo guys you just have to just save 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 kasi um mahirap magtrabaho mahirap talaga magtrabaho at saka diba pero at least and the most important thing is na enjoy mo yung trabaho mo. Ako, I love my job. I I love looking after patients and making um, a difference to every um every patient's life talaga. So, um ayun guys, I hope you do like this video and I hope you find it informative na ayun, may natutunan sana kayo and ayun, if ever may mga nurses out there sa Pilipinas or sa ibang part of the world na gusto lumipat dito sa England, I'm encouraging you to come kasi there's also benefits. Um, you get um, annual leave pay. I think our annual leave pay um, is ganun din per oras. But I think we get roughly about 9 weeks. Ako, 9 weeks ang nakukuha in a year na annual leave pero paid siya. Tapos you get a sick uh, pay kung nakakasakit ka it depends so i'll be discussing that on the, in my future vlogs um ayun and obviously dito sa england um healthcare is free um it's what we call um like a free healthcare for all really so ano siya okay siya hindi ka mukha sa pilipinas diba mahirap ang um, buhay sa atin magbabayad ka pa if you have to have better um healthcare kailangan mo talaga na kailangan mo talaga na mag um, na magkaroon ng life ng insurance or talaga dapat may pera ka kung gusto mo magpa private care pero guys i do hope ayan humaba na yung aking vlog i do hope na gustuhan niyo yung um, video ko kung magkano roughly talaga ang sahod sa nurse if you got any suggestions comments or anything just feel free to um comment down below and i'll be hopefully answering your questions so guys take care all all the time um, and have a great day take care bye